Hey everyone, it's Meg and welcome back to The Dark Knight Returns. We are on part two. And I'm not sure if these were like released as two different movies or if they were released some time apart. Let me know. I would love to know the answer to that. But I absolutely loved the first part. I loved all of the mental anguish and deliberation of Bruce. I loved that it was kind of old man Bruce and it ended on kind of a cliffhanger with the Joker saying, darling. So I'm excited to see Joker's comeback. And if we also see any other new old friends, I'm so happy that you're here with me. Thank you so much for all the support and for returning and watching me watch Batman. Let's get started. This is the face of the future. Let Gotham's oh, yeah. criminals beware. Gotham City belongs to the Batman. Batman shouldn't have come back because of their effect on our youth. He's smiling again. <laughs> oh my god, creepy. For years it seemed like you didn't have a reason to go on. Exactly. I know the world has every reason to hate me. <laughs> I bet I could <laughs> one of the No one wants to hear from me. Oh. Good performance. At least for the time being. He's <laughs> <laughs> He hasn't smiled in so long. Those cheekbones. Meanwhile, the White House continues to decline comment on the Batman's renewed activities and the suggestion that his defiance is an embarrassment to the current administration. Son you know I like to keep you out of domestic affairs, what with all the ruckus you stir up. Yes, sir. But, well, it's a ruckus I'd like you to straighten out, involving a friend of yours in Gotham City. Does the hands good to break him in? What? But if the Bronco up and kicks over the fence... Is this Ronald Reagan? Is this Ronald Reagan? Ride him around the yard a few times if you have to. Who is this? You know how to get in touch with him, Superman? don't you, son? He's not hard to find, sir. Good boy. Soups. Good boy. Was that Ronald Reagan? <laughs> Bruno's a she. <laughs> Big she. Bruno Joker squeeze. He Billy Berserkest ever. Yeah, Joker king of the. Billy. I can't handle this talk. It sounds like the cyberpunk language. Uh oh. Bronco. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, br br those two morons don't have a brain between them. So I'm going to give them yours. All over their suits. What? Store on 7th Street says it's for 250. <laughs> <laughs> um I have no idea what's going on. What? <laughs> I can't stop looking. <laughs> I can. Pull that trigger and I'll be back for you. <laughs> what? Lead her into the alley. Do not let her see you. Violate that order and you're fired. Ah, hope she's getting paid. What am I looking at? What are my eyes seeing? What time period is this? If you're lucky, Bruno, you'll end up in jail tonight. Oh, wait, so Batman was the old woman. Okay, 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 okay. <sighs> I love how that makes sense to me. I'm like, all is right in the world. The old homeless woman is Batman. <laughs> I wasn't understanding, and now I understand. Oh, okay. <laughs> She's really... Trust in those nipple tapes. I won't say the word because I'll probably get demonetized for what the tapes are shaped as, but she's really trusting them. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Oh, nice. Oh. No. Superman. Oh, the music. I love this. Superman gets like the, you know, super justice music. And then no, Batman's dressed him. as like an old hag. Not him, not now? Whoa, this is creepy. We have to talk. 
I'm busy. My place, in the morning. Until then, stay out of my way. Oh my god, why is his face shadowed and he seems almost like he's on a leash? Jeez, who makes that? Does Alfred make that stuff? <laughs> What's your position on the Batman controversy? It was our understanding that the government had reached an arrangement really, that's with what you want to talk colleagues about? years ago to cease their activities. As for what's going on in Gotham, it's not my road to hoe, now is it? That's a matter for the state level. <laughs> of course. This is 100% a Republican. It has to be Reagan. And I trust the judgment of Mayor Stevenson on that. <laughs> my job is to administrate, not render moral judgments. <laughs> We've just appointed a new police commissioner, and I'm not about to interfere. It's like so typical politics, though. That's not, that's for the state. No, that's for the blah, 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 the mayor. Now it's Commissioner Yendel's turn to face this man. She may make him her enemy, or maybe she'll learn from him. Either way, I wish her well. Nice. But this office will no longer tolerate the actions of a criminal. As my first official act as commissioner. <sighs> Arrest warrant. Yeah. Assault and battery and creating a public menace. I hereby issue a warrant for the Batman's arrest. Then arrest me, your honor. I'm guilty too. Guilty as charged. Oh, Superman. Oh. My. God. You're upsetting too many people. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You act like a criminal. <laughs> we are criminals, Clark. We always have been. Oh. We're still one too. Only difference is you have a boss. <laughs> I can't with him. That's not how I wanted that to go. He was all torn up about it too. Do you even remember why you retired? I remember. Jason Todd. Shut it down or one of these days someone with authority is going to tell me to come stop you. And when that happens. When that happens, may the best man win. It's so interesting. He has the horses, the dog. Superman has an eagle that in the background eats a mouse. Like, that's such an interesting depiction. But we've got to protect our interest. I mean, stand up for <laughs> the good people of Corto Maltese. We've got God on our side. Mm. Or the next best thing, anyway. Superman? Oh, my goodness. Y'all know I love soups, but it's hard when you, I see him interacting with Batman now. I'm like, oh, you are a little bit cheesy, aren't you? It's just cool that you can see all these different lights. Of, oh, wow. You can see these characters in different lights. And a man who's brought a lot of smiles to the world. Joker. I whipped up the lipstick you asked for. Special filters. Wear them tonight and only breathe through your nose. I could kiss you. Are you bombing the place? Robin's last class is about to end. Go pick her up at school. No, it's not her. That's, she's not the daughter. I don't know why I assumed. Well, I do know why I assumed. I hope someone sees the similarities why I assumed they were mom and daughter. More on the eyes, please. Yes. Too handsome. Actually, I brought my I own. Brought my own. <laughs> I love that. I love watching him put makeup on. Okay, Bobby, Mary, Uncle Joker's coming. Uncle Joker. Go make him proud. Oh my god. Oh no. <laughs> Stay in the copter and do not touch any of the controls. You know why I also thought because there's Barbara and Jim, so I think I thought the cycle was repeating itself. Touch any of it, you're fired. You're fired. <laughs> Holy. Do not. Why? Not for long. No. <laughs> well, you're making him look really cool. Batman, you are under arrest. Congrats on your promotion, girl. You're gonna want to let him deal with the Joker, okay? Just follow my lead and be yourself. And our special guest, the clown prince of crime, Joker. <laughs> Freeze, Batman! Fire weapons! No! 
you're gonna have to fire her. I mean, that's why he loves his little sidekicks. I bet. Oh God. That's the filters. I'm told you've killed about 600 people. I want people to get me. All right then. David Endo Crush. Everyone in this room. Oh. Okay. I think that's a little more insight than we had in mind. <laughs> He's merely a victim of the Batman's psychotic obsession. I thought I was Batman's psychotic obsession. So you think the Batman's the real sicko here? Without oh my a god. Doubt. He's an obsessive compulsive narcissistic hero complex sociopath. I would love a shot at him as a patient. <laughs> but best get to keep these. <laughs> sure, you do whatever you want with it. Oh! No! He cared about you, kind of. I love that it had to be dolls. Oh. <gasps> yeah. Ace the cloak. Wow, how do you know all this? Joker's gone. How many? Lots. You have five seconds to comply. So she wasted his time. <sighs> she could have been watching. Head back to the cave. I'm not fired. You're not fired. His grumpy face. Seriously, it's the Joker. And she didn't think like, oh, let's focus our energy on watching him. Oh, goodness. Oh my god, dude. You never should have come back, Bruce. You don't know how much the world has changed. Selena. Oh! Oh no. Ew! No! I made myself pretty for you. You should say thank you. Thank you. Oh, is that Poison Ivy's lipstick? There's nothing wrong with Joker that I can't fix. With my hands. Both Joker and the Batman, who himself left dozens of police hospitalized. <laughs> Whoa! Grouping them together. What do you think he was doing? He was trying to get to... Oh! Does she run a brothel? There's something I need you to do, Congressman. Oh. I think she runs an escort business has climbed out onto a 40th story ledge and is demanding a full nuclear strike against Corto Maltese. Oh no, 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 no. Joker. I mean, it's crazy because Joker was in retirement before this. We're the most powerful country in the world. Sir, please. They can't listen to him. The girl upstairs has been drugged. Says she's from Kyle Escorts. That's Selena, Selena Kyle. Kyle. My old beat. Shut it down and bring My old in. beat. Yes, ma'am. Oh, okay. Lieutenant O'Halloran, ma'am. Heard there was... <gasps> Stop that man! Oh my god. What is... Oh, that's Bruce. <laughs> this is nuts. I know it's her first day on the job. I'm just struggling with her a little bit. What? Selena. <gasps> Oh, what's wrong with you? He's worse than ever. He's using lipstick. Mind control. He'll Don't worry. Mm -hmm. On the ground, now! <laughs> this is very dangerous for children. Teenagers. Oh, oh, I don't know if I like this depiction of Selena. I don't know if she I mean, escort business, that's fine. 
you know, that's all fine. I don't know. It just, that left her completely powerless. Joker just fucked with her. And he wanted a reunion. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Are you gonna explode? Don't worry, Mary, dear. You two distract the little one. So that guy programmed the scared faces. That's her friend. Oh my god. Are you out of your mind? <gasps> I'm through playing Joker. Oh. Oh my god. No! <laughs> The blood pouring out? Oh my god. House of Mirrors, and there's so many parallels between Joker and Batman. Lifelong nemeses. He's using the mirrors to his advantage, I think. Yeah! He's like, I was made for this shit. Smoke and mirrors. Oh. That's bad. Nice. Oh my god, nice. <gasps> Ew, I don't like that guy at all. Oh my god, this reminds me of Killing Joke. <sighs> Not fun. All the people I've murdered by letting you live. I never kept count. You have gotten old, haven't you? <laughs> How is he not dead? Come on, finish me. See you in hell. <laughs> Did you just snap his own neck? Did he just snap his own neck? Oh God. Down this way, go right. Don't touch him. What? Freeze, you son of a bitch. Cute gun. Oh, cute gun. Over there. Clumsy. <laughs> Try again, it's okay. This is not his expertise. Oh. Oh my god. It's just hard for me to believe some of that wouldn't have deaths, like bystander deaths or consequential deaths. You're exploding cars. Like, how does he not have death on his hands apart from Joker? I guess it's not intentional. Oh my god, the blood dripping. Oh. He'll live. He's far too stubborn to die. Through this horrific murder. Oh and his my police, god. The Batman has revealed himself to be an unqualified menace. Looks like those Russians are some mighty sore losers. Oh my god. Soups, you are crazy. We are getting reports that the missile has changed course and will now detonate over an... <laughs> Oh, 
creepy. Oh my god! This is a horror movie! Will his skin grow back? Oh my god, stop! No! 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 What? <gasps> I have... <laughs> I hate it. I hate it. What the hell is happening? Oh, okay. Jesus. I don't understand what scientifically was happening. Clark, you let them do it. You idiot. It's an electromagnetic pulse, in all likelihood from a nuclear explosion. Wow. That's crazy. You let them do it. But it was a Soviet missile. I mean, the Soviets detonated a cold bringer. Not meant to kill us, just cripple us. Where did you get those? Not as fun as I thought it would be. You're doing great. I mean, hold on to the reins though, please. Is he saying like you let them do it? Like you participated in the war that riled up the Soviets? No. I'm your leader. <laughs> the horse is behind him. Wow. I bet he has like a stable in his backyard of the Wayne Manor. <laughs> but not with these. These are loud and clumsy. These are the weapons of cowards. Cute gun. Yes. Tonight, we are the law. Tonight, I am the law. Yes. Looters are gonna strip us dry. We need more cops on the street. We don't even have four oh, lives. Right. Her character is just really confusing me. I wish we got more info on why she's so against Batman. She doesn't feel real to me. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah! I didn't know how badly I needed to see Batman riding a horse. What about your wife? I feel like they're gonna, if you stay in that location too long, you're gonna inhale all that and then die. Our homes, we're better than this. Aww. The fires are spreading and the fire department isn't coming. Start helping. I have buckets. Let's get those hydrants open. Yes. <laughs> nice. Ladies and gentlemen, some of you will even argue that you can't work together. That's fine. Those people will stay tied up. <laughs> he lumps us together with criminals. Shut up, man. Yeah, shut up, man. The glasses off. Oh, precious. Okay, that guy is just grumpy. Okay. I'm suing. Good luck with that. <laughs> what are we gonna do? Nothing. He's too big. Thank you. There we go. They're coming! Yay! Oh no, see, that's what I was worried about. They're probably out. Yeah, she's out. Jim! Wow. How are you feeling, son? Wow. Better, Mr. President, thank you. <gasps> that shot. So long as you're up to handling our other little problem, man. Batman? He'll never let me bring him in alive. Well, you do what you need to do. It definitely makes me question, like, how does Frank Miller see Superman? What is it you want, Oliver? A piece of him. The schoolboy. I always knew it would come down to the two of you someday. Schoolboy as in Clark? Superman? 
Oh, no, she loves horses. Oh, Zaddy. Hey. Okay. Crime Alley. Oh my God, they're fighting. Wait, the boys are fighting. Superman, why are you so loyal to the president of the United States? What is that? One hour. Army troops have evacuated what? the downtown slum known as Crime Alley. No explanation has been given and news coverage has been flatly... <sighs> so they can't show Superman bringing him down because that won't look good. Oh my god, media blackout. He'll still be weak between the nuke and so little sunlight. Yeah. You gonna die tonight or what? Figure I will. <laughs> you have to laugh because it's just so Bruce. Every okay, that's not fair. It's surprising how I like Superman less when he doesn't have that sense of humor when he's lost the goofy small town boy part of himself okay wow hopefully i can watch some stuff where they're besties are they ever besties because this makes me sad oh my god it's a detonation what <laughs> isn't this a school night young lady Clark. Clark. This is between you and me. <laughs> Look at those chunks. I feel like I'm missing a lot. There's got to be in between. You know what my orders are. Your orders? He's not going to like that. I don't like this. Isn't the Justice League them fighting together? No, is he gonna die? Oh no. <gasps> no, stroke! Doesn't matter. It's their world and they won't stand for you anymore. Why the President of the United States, though? Why do you trust them? The American government. That's why, like, you like Earth. Well, I guess he's focusing on the U.S. What? <laughs> that poor woman's home! Oh my god. Bruce, this is idiotic. That was three ribs, Bruce. Don't make me do this. Oh my god, he really planned it ahead. And the thing is, I don't feel like Superman thinks like that. It's more intuitive. Oh! I also don't know who this is. Is this... Oliver. Oliver. And if I'm meeting a brand new character and he's this old, then what the hell? That's a kryptonite arrow. But I don't... I don't want Superman to die. No! Okay. It wasn't easy to make, Clark. It took years and cost a fortune. Luckily, I had both. <laughs> the kryptonite will work its way out of your lungs soon enough. Bruce, your heart. He took a pill. I want you to remember the one man who beat you. What is happening? Is this like a faking of his death? I mean, this kind of reminds me of Christopher Nolan's movies, but why is he dying? 
but maybe like fake death that the world famous billionaire was the batman okay the fire was apparently set by his butler who himself died of a stroke at the scene every penny of wayne's wealth okay all of his accounts and financial holdings okay okay he said stay out of my way so like he's still You've alive some nerve showing up here i know who killed him damn you selena don't it's no use let's go they're really doing selena dirty in this <laughs> what the heck I just have no, like, notion of their relationship, so. <sighs> you recognize her? <laughs> Cute. He recognized her and he heard his heartbeat in the ground, right? We ain't got forever, people. Sure we do. But where's Alfred? Starting now, I'm going to teach you everything. All of my ways. So there'll be multiple Batman secrets. switching out? You're going to be my army operating yes! in the shadows. Keeping Gotham safe. And we're going to take as long as we need heard the schoolboy found you out it's all right i think the message got through <laughs> as long as we stay quiet yeah exactly us alone mm -hmm. i spent 10 years looking for a good death this this will be a good life oh i love that That man is bigger than you. Good enough. Yeah. Guys, what? I don't understand. So was Alfred alive? I have to look it up. Also, does this happen? So when does Justice League happen canonically before this? After? That's what I would like to know. Does Alfred survive? The Dark Knight Returns, part two. I think he dies. Yeah, I think he. I think he's dead. Which I want to read the comics because I'm. I'm having trouble believing that's like. The, <laughs> we don't get any notion of Bruce. Like, of course, I feel like that is a suitable death for Alfred, but I didn't really get any kind of catharsis from that. And that's our boy. You know, that's our that's our man. And, it you know, of course, it would be fitting that he sets fire to the Wayne Manor and then he dies as it's going up in smoke because that was just his life's purpose, his vocation. But to not have any sort of acknowledgement from Bruce is weird. Um, it makes me think about Arkham Knight, too, because there is like a kind of similar ending where it's questionable like who is batman what is happening there um yeah i just wish i i would have seen him say something about alfred you know even just something small because that doesn't i feel like that doesn't really do him justice maybe it's in the comics i also really did not like how they portrayed selena just in that like the, they just glossed over her escort business. Again, it's not about it being an escort business. <laughs> Me of all people, you know. I actually really like year one, how she starts off as a, a sex worker. And, like, she's just like, okay, next job. Um, but to not give her that many lines and, to, and all of her lines to make her kind of appear weaker and um, seduced by Joker and, like, all of these other characters get cool comebacks... I don't even know who the frick Oliver is. <laughs> I'm like, this person seems important, but I don't know who the heck that is. Sorry if I'm completely missing something. All I can think of is the Arrow guy from Marvel, actually. Gen Jeremy Renner. <laughs> oh, what's his name? Hawk? I Hawkeye? But uh, yeah, I didn't. That was like something I didn't really like. And then I'm starting off with stuff that I didn't like. I feel this isn't even just like a legitimate criticism of the movie. This is just me at the point that I watched this because it was just hard to kind of 
invest for me mentally and emotionally in that Superman Batman fight. And maybe it was just supposed to be like, oh, who who would win Superman or Batman? Because that's something that we all talk about us nerds like who would win in a fight? Tony Stark or which assassin in Assassin's Creed will win and blah, blah, blah. That's all we talk about. So it was cool to see that fight. It was entertaining. It was like it was really cool. But I guess I was hoping for more of a Justice League bird's eye view rather than it being through Bruce's eyes as he's older because I have missed everything (laughs) in between. I don't know anything. I don't even know how the Justice League is born. I just learned about the Suicide Squad. Um, Like, I don't know what their interactions were, if they were friends, if they hated each other like what the time period was, maybe they go back and forth. Um, So I think most of me was just like, what the heck is going on? And I'm kind of craving that like that is so it's a good thing in the end, because I'm like, what the hell happens between them? There's so much good stuff there, like Superman being very loyal to the American government specifically, (laughs) even when they're kind of crappy, too. Um, and just being very attached to law, lawful, lawful good. And then Bruce being a more, you know, unlawful good, even like, (laughs) like good and neutral and the chaos of it and the performance aspect of it and being embarrassing and not being afraid to be embarrassing for the country. Like who gives a shit? Um, and just kind of operating on his own with his own people Like, I really love the two of them. I love their differences, their similarities. So I'm very eager for more content in that regard. So I'm excited for that. Um, I would love to see if Grant the Green Lantern even shows up (laughs) with them. I don't even know if he's part of the Justice League. I think that the (laughs) the Wonder Woman, I'm pretty sure Wonder Woman is part of it. But again, I don't know, really know, is it? In his later life, in Batman's later life, is it before he retires canonically? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But I'm eager to find out. Yeah, this this one, this part was unhinged. Like, this was crazy. And I enjoyed it. Personally, I think I liked part one better just because I like introspective Batman. I like, I don't know. Like, I, I... I like when it gets weird and the mind. I liked all the stuff with Joker. And it's funny that Joker was like the first boss and then, well, Two-Face, I guess. But then it was Joker and then it was Superman, which was interesting. I just, I kind of wish that I had more knowledge to make it more meaningful. Should I watch this after the Justice League? Because that's, I don't know. I don't really know. We'll see. Joker was really creepy, really creepy, but like him snapping his own neck. Ugh, it was really weird. I loved Bruce's voice actor. That was like one of my favorite portrayals ever. That was so good. That was pretty iconic. And the difference between the Batman voice and the Bruce voice and just that older tone was awesome. And it was really great to see old <laughs> old man Bruce come back into it because a superhero can be any age you know, and he was rusty, but he had some badass moments. Cute gun. <laughs> Why are you laughing at me when he couldn't aim correctly? Um, and then some of those villains were just so, so crazy. And like I said before, it's just so funny that I like Clark so much less when he doesn't have that humor. And I hope I'm not spoiled by Superman, the animated series moving forward and like i hope it doesn't make me like a spoiled brat or even just with christopher reeve i I hope i'm not a little biatch about it but i'm like my superman needs to smile (laughs) my superman needs to smile and what's cool about this is it is it's a batman story it's not a superman story it's not a justice league story like it's batman the Dark Knight Returns, part one and two. So this is really him through Superman's... No, it's Superman through Batman's eyes. 
And uh, again, I know I'm, I'm very excited for like Justice League stuff and to see them interact. But it's just so cool to me because I feel like I could go back and forth if there are other Superman movies or even within the animated series. I might side with Superman sometimes in these moral arguments or I might see side with Batman. And it's probably going to be dependent on whose perspective is it through. You know, it makes a huge difference when the protagonist is Batman or Superman. Um, and then what will it be when it's just Justice League? Like, who will I lean towards? Because this one, of course, I'm rooting for Batman. Like, are you kidding me, Soups? Like, you're basically siding with the American government and trying to take Batman down when there's so many more intense things going on. And he just kind of seemed like a like a little leashed dog. I have to say, I loved that scene with the animals because... Uh, Clark having the eagle perched on his arm, which is so, you know, representative of the United States, obviously. And then Bruce having these dogs and um, it was horses, right? Was it horses? Oh, they definitely introduced the horses before then. I didn't even think about that. But those kind of more loyal animals... And then the eagle being Clark's when it then it just like hunted a an innocent rat, which I know that's what animals do is the circle of life. It's just interesting to me. It was it was it told its own story. I really appreciated that scene. That was really cool. Yeah, I just really want to keep going. Like, I really want to see it all come together. I'm excited for the Justice League stuff. I really, really am. Um, there were th there were things that I really really liked about it, and then some things that, it, through my own preferences and also my knowledge, that didn't land, you know. But overall, I really liked it. I can't wait to read the comic. We might do a comic talk, so I'll let you know. Maybe we'll do a, like a little live stream. But thank you so much to my YouTube channel members and my patrons especially my tier four patrons. Thank you so much for producing this video, John G. Robinson and Light Yagami, and a special shout out to Faux Hammer for the tier three sub, um, and all my other patrons for going on this DC journey with me. It's so fun, so awesome. Thank you for going above and beyond to support me. And thank you to everyone who's been watching all the videos and oh my gosh, there's so much. Batman DC stuff, you know, talking with me about it on stream and in comments, Discord. I really appreciate you guys and love you. And I'm excited for the rest of this experience with you. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Can't wait to hear what you think. Let me know if I missed anything and what you're excited for in the future of what I'm going to watch. Yeah. Love you. Bye.